Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm at now answering question number one from the June 2019 Statistics S1 International A Level at Excel exam. And this question is asking us to find the mean and the variance of the heights of 40 children, and <clears throat> the heights were recorded by a teacher, and the summarized results are as follows that the sum of the heights of the children is 58 and the sum of the squares of the heights of the children is 84.829. So first of all, the mean, the mean of the heights of the children is going to be the sum of all the entries divided by the number of entries, which is 58 divided by 40. That's going to give you the mean of the entries. So 58 divided by 40, that gives you 1.45. So that's the mean, the exact mean, not rounded. Okay, so that's part, the first part of the question, that's the mean. Okay, and now we've got to also find the, the variance. Not the standard deviation, the variance. Okay, so the variance is going to be basically the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. That's a nice little phrase to remember to help you. The mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. Now, if it was standard deviation, it would be the square root of this. But this is not standard deviation, it's variance. So the mean of the squares is going to be the sum of the squares divided by the number of entries. And the square of the mean is basically the mean squared. Okay, so the mean of the squares, we already have the mean of the, we already have the sum of the squares, which is 84.829. Divided by the number of entries, which is 40, minus the square of the mean. Now, what I would do here is I always use this fraction, okay, when I'm finding the square of the mean, because sometimes this is a rounded value, okay, sometimes you have to round it to 3SF. So using the fraction that you start off with um, before you calculate the mean is always better, um, even though in this case it doesn't make a difference because this is actually not rounded, as we saw, it was exact. So it'll give you the same answer anyway. So we're going to have 84.829 over 40. What's going on here? That's weird. I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong mode. Okay. 84.829 over 40 minus the square of the mean. So I know this is exact, so I'll just use this, but it's always best to use a fraction in case that's rounded. <coughs> that gives you 729 over, four, four, over 40,000, which is 0 0.018225. 0 0.018225, which you should round to 3SF, which gives you 0 0.0182. There's the answer for the variance. So there's a the mean and there's the variance of this data. That's part A. Now, part B says the teacher decided that these statistics would be more useful in centimeters. So we want to find the mean in centimeters and the standard deviation of these heights in centimeters. Okay, so we find the mean and the standard deviation. Okay, so first of all, the mean. The mean is in meters, it was 1.45 meters. Okay, meters. 1.45 meters. Now, to convert meters to centimeters, you simply multiply by 100. Okay, meters to centimeters, you multiply by 100. Simple as that. So it's going to be equal to 1.45 times 100 centimeters, which is 145 centimeters. Simple as that. That's part one. Part two, we want to find the standard deviation of these heights. So first of all, let's find the variance. Now the variance. See, this is in meters. Now the variance, this is like in terms of squared units. This is actually in meters squared. Okay, this is squared because you square all the values. So th the variance is in meters squared. So if we think about the variance and converting the variance into centimeters squared, you have 0 0.018225. This is in meters squared. Okay, that's the right answer, isn't it? Let me just check with the calculator. 018225. Yeah, that's right. 
So that is the variance in meters squared. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to change this into centimeters squared. All right, so I have to take 0 0.018225 and multiply it by, well, if there's 100 centimeters in a meter and you have to multiply by 100 to change from meters to centimeters, if you change from meter squared to centimeter squared, you have to multiply by 100 squared. You have to square the conversion. So I have to multiply this not by, by, by 100, but by 100 squared. And that will give me the answer in centimeters squared. Okay, so you're going to multiply this by 100 squared. Okay, that gives me 729 over 4, which is 182.25. Okay, that's now in centimeters squared. Now I want to find the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So it's the square root of 182.25. Okay, so you take the square root of this. And that gives us 27 over 2, which is 13.5. 13.5 centimeters is the standard deviation in centimeters okay so that's how um, we calculate that now why is it some people might ask why is it that we multiply it by 100 squared and not 100 when we're changing from meter squared to centimeter squared now just in case you're not sure of that i'll just explain to you um let's start off like this supposing we have a line which is one meter long just imagine this is one meters long it will also be 100 centimeters long. And if I make this into a square, two dimensions, say that this, of course, will also be one meters long and therefore 100 centimeters long. So if I think about the area of the square in terms of meters squared, it will be one times one, which is one meters squared. If I think about the area of this in terms of centimeters squared, I have to multiply this side by that side, which gives me 100 times 100, which is 100 squared centimeter squared well this is the same square so its area is one meter squared and its area is also 100 squared centimeter squared that means one meter squared is the same as 100 squared centimeter squared so that's kind of like a little proof for it so whenever you are changing units which are squared you square the normal conversion that you use whenever you're changing units that are cubed you would cube the conversion that you use so that's a little reason why we had to multiply this by 100 squared first and then find the square root for the standard deviation all right so there's your answer to b part one and two okay now we're going to go on to part c it says two more children join the group their heights are 130 and 165 state giving a reason the mean height of these 42 children so the mean that we found just one second the mean that we found was 1.45 centimeters and the standard deviation was 13.5 centimeters okay so it says two more children join the group their heights are 130 centimeters and 160 centimeters state giving a reason the mean height of the 42 children okay so now there's two more children in the group okay and if you think about the, the, the mean height of these two children, it's exactly the same as what as as um sorry, this was 145 centimeters. That was 1.45, that's 145 centimeters, and 13.5 centimeters was a standard deviation. That was 1.545 meters. Sorry about that. So two more children joined the group, their heights are 130 centimeters and 160 centimeters. State giving a reason the mean height of the 42 children. So the, new, the mean height of the 42 children, the old mean was 145. Now, if you think about these two children that join, all right, there you have 130 plus 160 divided by 2. That also is 145. So the mean of these two children that join is also 145 all right, centimeters. So therefore, the mean will be unchanged. Okay, So the mean is going to be unchanged because the two um, that you add, to the group will, will be basically their mean is also 145 so if you add something to the group and the mean is the same as you know if if if, if for example if you add uh, if the mean of, of of five numbers is a certain amount like for example seven and you add another seven to that um, uh, amount it's going to stay seven okay so the mean of the numbers will be the same 
who will be unchanged. Unchanged as the mean of the two numbers of the two additional numbers is also is also 145 centimeters sorry about my bad handwriting here okay so you could even try it out we know that the sum of the numbers um, before is going to be um, 145 times 40 if you add these two numbers which gives you 290 and now you divide by 42 you'll see you get exactly the same sum so if you have 145 let me just put it in fraction 145 times 40 and you add the two numbers which is 130 plus 160 which gives you 290 that's now the sum of all the numbers divide that by the total new numbers which is 42 that gives you see the same mean so the mean will be unchanged because the two numbers their mean is the same as the original mean and the second thing we're going to talk about is a standard deviation now if we think about the standard deviation what it measures is standard deviation is actually a measure of um if you think about the original definition that we that we learn about standard deviation it's a measure of how spread out the data is away from the mean okay so how far something is spread out away from the mean value so the mean value is 145 okay and the difference between 130 and the mean okay is going to be minus 15 okay um, and the difference between 160 and the mean is going to be 15 so when we're finding the standard deviation what we're actually doing is we're taking each data value we're subtracting the mean from that value and we're squaring that value and adding them all together and dividing by the number of entries why because we're finding the average uh, spread of every data entry away from the mean now we can see that these two values are both spread away from the mean more than the standard deviation of the original data all right so as we can say as um, 145 and 160 are both um, you could say further further from the mean than the standard deviation therefore what's going to happen is it's going to cause the standard deviation to increase okay because the original standard deviation is 13.5 and these are both more than 13.5 away from the mean so that will cause the spread of the data to be more if the value of if the if the, the distance of these two values okay was um, less than the standard deviation okay then it will cause the standard deviation to decrease because that will cause the, the average spread of the data uh, from the mean to be less so therefore this okay as they are both further from the mean than the standard deviation therefore the standard deviation will increase okay so we don't have to show any calculations for that but just mention that so we could say for example um 130 minus the mean which is 145 is the magnitude of that is greater than 13.5 and also the magnitude of 160 minus 145 is greater than the standard deviation which is 30.5 okay therefore standard deviation will increase okay that's how we can understand that part two of this question which was a question that somebody was asking me about on the on the channel um, to explain this part two so I hope that's clear because the standard deviation is a measure of the spread of the data in terms of how far away each data entry is from the mean value so if the standard deviation of a set of numbers is 13.5 and you add some numbers whose distance from the mean is more than 13.5 that will include that will cause the standard deviation to increase because the average spread of the data from the mean is going to be more
than the actual existing one. However, if the two values that we had, the magnitude of their distance away from the, sta from the mean was less than the original standard deviation, if they were less than 13.5 away from the mean value, then it would cause the standard deviation to decrease. If they were equal, equally away from the, sta um, the original standard deviation, then it will cause the standard deviation to remain the same. Okay, because the average spread of the data will still be the same. So I hope that was clear. Um, so there's the answer there for this question. Other questions um, from this particular paper, you will find in the playlist that should appear in this area over here. Other questions from this topic, okay, which is to do with um, you know analyzing data, uh, mean, standard deviation, and these kind of topics can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon